Monday the uh, I think it's the 27th of July today and um, I'm down in the Weald starting to walk on a damp wet day at Cowden which is basically a, a ticket office and not much else single line track anyway let's hope this rain stops right <coughs> here we go again more cows seem to like me don't they Standing up, which is a good sign. Let's hope that uh, the rain stops. You can see why this place is called Cowden now. Alright, mate. Well, 20 minutes in, and the uh, rain seems to be getting heavier, despite what the cows indicated. I'm sure they'll be right soon though. This is a uh, 12 mile walk, so it should take about 5 hours, so it should be done by about 6 I guess at the latest. Let's see. Just walked uh, <coughs> through this field of corn. A bit like the Wizard of Oz in a sense. Now, that's promising. In the far distance there is some uh, blue sky. 45 minutes in and I'm still walking in the rain. Getting a bit wet underfoot as well, but not to worry. <coughs> I made a mistake earlier. We're not actually in Kent. It's uh, East Sussex, of course. Uh, but uh, landscape's pretty similar. There's a lovely host house up there. Someone's home now. And the rolling hills are not much different to last week up in the Chilterns. One and a half hours in, 12.30 now. Uh, and this is the beginning of the River Medway, apparently. It stopped raining for the time being, two minutes ago. Mm, let's hope it stays that way. There's the old uh, railway line, still close at hand. Only a train an hour by the sounds of it. Time for lunch soon, I think. Just seen a couple of um, <coughs> roe deer down in that wood there, which is where I'm headed. Turned out quite pleasant at the moment. Let's hope it stays that way. Sussex, East Sussex Weald. Another horse that's uh, got blinkers on. Must find out what that's all about. They all seem to be the curious ones as well, or because they can't see. Another bit of uh, artwork cut into a tree, this time in the form of a seat. And um, very recent, this guy Tim Calcutt died this year. May the wind be forever in your sails. Very good. Very pleasant little lane this. This might produce some interesting sights. Now walking uh, along the wheeled way, which is what that little yellow arrow's indicating. This is going to take me to Harkfield. 
aka Pooh Corner. This is a path called the Forest Way, which I'm crossing over from there to there. Very clearly, the next railway line. Hartfield Church Spire. So I'm not far away from lunch now. Good. Quarter past two, now in Hartfield. There's the church. It's about to have some lunch. And I do need it. Energy levels are low. Right, lunch was served. Rain came down, so I had to go in the church lobby. Anyway, very handy places, these churches. Second time I've had lunch at a church. Quarter to three. Let's go and check Winnie the Pooh corner, and then press on. Here we are, Pooh corner. The little Shetland ponies there, sheltering from the rain, which has started again. It's quite balmy now. Still wet though. Why is it <coughs> that these cows are always blocking me and my path? I need to be over there where that gate is, and they're all in the way. Highly dodgy at this time of year with calves about as well. Uh oh. Sun's back out, which is good. Mother Oath's house becomes uh, the residence. Brightening up again now. Look at that for a view. Lovely down here. Doesn't look like I'm going to get the uh, 10 to 6 train, which means a, a wait of an hour, which is annoying, but there you go. So that's it, a very pleasant walk completed, all 12 miles, mixture of rain, sun, but very pleasant. Now at Eridge, which is in an area of uh, East Sussex called Rotherfield, single track line, I've got to wait half hour now for the train, but... Um, not too much of a problem. The pub's shut, but uh, that's tough. This isn't my train. <laughs>